Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and I decided to head over to Silver Ridge Peaks since in the patch notes it says that they fixed the leucistic pronghorn to make them actually look leucistic, so I really want to try and find one because that is something that I had always wanted in the game and for the longest time I didn't think it was, but apparently it's always been in the game, they just were colored wrong, so we are going to try and find one of those. So I figured we'd start the grind for them today, so let's see which are the biggest ones. We've got a four there, and then these two are both threes if I remember right, so let's take this. And then... Could be a second one down. Let's see if maybe we can get this one too. And that might have just been a little bit too far forward I think, but we got two of them, so that's a decent start. All right, so here is that second one that we dropped on the spot, 70.20, and we did get a heart shot and double lung too, so no wonder this guy dropped in his tracks. But anyway, that's a decent little one to start off with, but this right here is the level four that we actually shot first of the two, and it scores 83.70, so this is a small four. But still a 4 nonetheless, this will be really good for respawns, and hopefully we can get a leucistic respawn out of it. So here is a level 3 pronghorn at 226 meters out. It does seem to be the only one here, so I kind of want to take it out just so we can get rid of it, but... Go ahead and... Yeah, that'll do the trick. I think that was definitely a hard shot. I couldn't see that being anything else, so it was definitely hard. And here we go, here is that little level 3. And yeah, exactly the same as the first level 3 we shot. Left lung, right lung, and heart. Definitely a solid shot on a solid pronghorn. But obviously this is not what we're after, so we will continue our search. Alright, so we actually have a couple pronghorn right here, along with a really nice looking mule deer, so... I think we're actually going to shoot the mule deer first, and then try to get the pronghorn after, so... Let's go ahead and... Ooh, I think we might have got the third one. It's not looking like it was a good shot though. And that one wasn't either. Well, it should die anyway, but just might take it a little bit longer than if we had actually hit vitals. Ooh, that is... Another pronghorn, I'm not sure where this guy came from, but... That actually looked like it was a good shot. Yeah, that was definitely much better than the other running shot we tried to take. Alright, so here is the first pronghorn that we shot. That guy's only a level 2. And we did double lung it, so... Not too bad. Now, I believe that is our mule deer right there, so we'll go grab that next. Then we will head over to where we got the other pronghorn. So that's a pretty solid looking mule deer. Definitely not too bad. And I'm very happy to see some real level 4s actually spawning because previously it was really hard to find a real level 4 or a real level 5 and this is like the third or fourth 4 I've seen since I got back on Silver Ridge Peaks today. So that's not too bad. There is one of those little pronghorn. I'm not sure which one this is. It could be either of the two that we shot on the run, but this is probably the one that we hit vitally, I would imagine. Actually, now that I look at it, yeah, this is actually the first one we shot, and I didn't think I'd claim it by trying to grab this track, but looks like I did, so... Yeah, that's definitely the one that we shot at first, and I guess I was too far forward on that one, and too far back on the first shot, so... Just all over the place with my aim on that one, but it is what it is. We got this other one pretty good. Now we just got to find it. And I actually think I see it. Yeah, it's right here. So this guy didn't run far at all, which is to be expected since this was actually a lung shot. Let's go ahead and pick this guy up. And yeah, double lung. Much better shot than on the other one. I will take that any day. Okay, so we definitely want to take this guy out. That is a nice looking level 4. So let's try to get a 300 meter shot on it. I think this time we're going to use the 7mm though. 
So let's go ahead and do that. And yeah, that'll definitely do the trick. That guy was going absolutely nowhere. There's actually some pretty close to me too, and I don't see any males. So let's just take one of these females. Just for some extra cash. And honestly, I don't care if I get a male or female for the leucistic. I kind of just want to get one in general, so I'm okay if it is a female. Here's that little female right here. This is a dark fur variation one. I still don't have a dark diamond, so that's also something that I'm kind of hoping to maybe get out of this grind. Either a leucistic or a dark diamond would be absolutely fantastic now i have already seen some screenshots of the leucistics and i am kind of disappointed that they just recycled the albino fur variation and just basically just called it something different so that is a little bit disappointing but i'd still like to get one so we're gonna do our best to find one but i think while we're over here let's take out one of these since they're just going to be sitting there drinking I think this is a male back there though, so we can get this guy. I think we definitely hit it. And it did turn out to just be a female, but either way it's another pronghorn down, so we're one step closer to getting what we're after. And here is that level 4, 78 scoring, so it's a pretty small 4, but still a 4 nonetheless. Still one of those that we really need to get down for a higher chance at getting a high scoring leucistic, so that is not too bad. Now this last one was a female, so I'm not going to spend too much time on her, but I think we're getting close to the end of pronghorn time, and in fact we might actually be at the end, so not exactly sure, and in fact that was not even a good shot, so I guess we're just going to leave this one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we are at the end of pronghorn time, but I don't think that's really going to matter because we've got a level 5 Rocky Mountain Elk right here in a spot that I have never seen elk ever be before. So there had to have been some kind of change during this last patch because I noticed a lot of people were saying that it seemed like their red deer populations on parquet were reset. I'm starting to wonder if maybe it affected other maps too because I have never had any elk at this lake. And so the fact that we've got one there, it's got to be something to do with this latest patch. I feel like there was definitely something that reset the populations everywhere. I don't know if that's a 100% fact, but it definitely is looking like that so I guess we're gonna try and take this guy with the 6.5 to make it a little bit interesting so let's see if maybe we can get I don't know like a crazy heart shot or something on it it is moving around though this actually might be perfect and there we go that should be good I don't know if this guy's going to be diamond or not. He doesn't have the super, super huge rack, so there's a chance this might be just short. But, I mean, it is a level 5 nonetheless, so regardless, that's pretty cool. And he's just about to go down, actually. And there he goes. So that is a level 5 Rocky Mountain Elk on the ground with the 6.5. Definitely not what I was expecting to find during a pronghorn hunt, especially since I've never seen them down here before. But that's pretty cool. That is definitely really cool. And we actually have another elk there. So there's definitely something different. Because I never had them feeding down here before. That's definitely cool to see things changed around a little bit. That makes me wonder what else got changed. Wow, we got another elk there. Oh yeah, something is definitely different. Here he is right in the brush where we watched him go down. It's definitely hard to say whether this guy's going to be a diamond or not. You know, I feel like he's going to be either just barely a diamond or slightly short. Either way, this is a cool spot to see one go down in. I definitely like the spot he died in. That is super, super cool. 
Anyway, let's go ahead and pick this guy up and see what he scores. I'm thinking we will grab him probably... Oh, that works. 495, it is a diamond. That is awesome. That's going to be a really good addition to our lodge. And this is actually one of the cleanest racks I've seen on a diamond Rocky Mountain elk. What a perfect looking elk. Normally these diamonds have some kind of wonkiness with them, but that is actually such a perfect rack. I can't believe how phenomenal that looks. That is actually really impressive. I like that a lot. I definitely like that a lot. This might be one of my new favorite Diamond Rocky Mountain Elk. I've had some pretty nice ones in the past, but this might be just the best looking one out of all of them. It's very symmetrical, very even. I don't see too many differences. In fact, it's completely identical. It's almost like the True Rex didn't even take into effect with this guy because he is perfectly symmetrical. I don't think I've ever seen that with a true rack species. That's really cool. Well, we have something absolutely awesome to put up in our lodge, so let's go ahead and go do that now. So I think what we're going to do is we will put him in here, uh, because I like to keep the best of the best in this particular room whenever I use the Sasika Safari, so we're definitely going to put him in here somewhere. Uh, hopefully... He will look good here. And I think for the most part that does look pretty good. Although I kind of want to put him a little bit lower so we can kind of see the antlers better. Maybe this one right here will be good for him. I think that looks pretty good. I think we're going to leave him right here. Yeah, we're definitely going to just leave him here. I think that looks perfect. So not too bad. I'd say that was a very successful hunt. We didn't get what we came there for, but we got something that's probably a lot better because this may be the most perfect looking rack I've ever seen on a Rocky Mountain Elk. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys would like to see me use next time on the Pronghorn because I am probably going to continue searching for a leucistic one. So be sure to drop in the comments what you would like to see me hunt them with and I will see if I can get around to that. But until next time, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that. I do post daily The Hunter videos and do five live streams a week. So if you don't subscribe, you're going to be missing out on a lot of awesome content. Be sure to like the video because it does help YouTube's recommendations work a little bit more in my favor. So that would be much appreciated. But until next time, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one. Peace. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.